So let's go to another page in your book. I'm here in page mm -hmm. 77. 77. Let's see what we got here. 77. Oh, how about this? So this one is called Consider Hiring a Coach. So this is what you do. You help people out. And this is what I have done in the, my career. And, and it's it's finding somebody. Yeah, you have your friend. I call it sometimes having your board of directors. You know, so you have your, your, your friends. You have a family member. You have somebody you trust in business or in life. Uh, and then I think it's a really good idea. Every once in a while, you hire somebody who does it for a living, a professional person who is a coach who's not talking so much like you and I are today, but is, is listening. You know, what are you trying to develop? What are you trying to do in life? And letting people expressing yourself to somebody who can help guide you. They're not telling you what to do. They're guiding you, listening to you, evaluating and making, giving you ideas to consider. You know, there are counselors, there are advisors, and there are coaches. And coaches are somebody who are good listeners. They ask good questions. They question what you're doing. What you don't want somebody saying is, oh, 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 Dean, you know, you've written this terrific book. You're the best person in the world. I want somebody to say, Dean, you know what? You, you really should have written something a little different, or you maybe should have added something else, or Dean, uh, you need to update it. I want, you want somebody who's on and honest, who can help you be better. So now you got, okay, well, Dean, a, a coach costs money. So, well, ask your company, ask your human resources department. Maybe there are funds available to hire somebody or, you know, save your money. I mean, this, we're not all independently wealthy, but find a way uh, to save a few dollars here and there and look for somebody who does do this for a living, who is a business coach, health coach, a therapy coach. There's, there's tons and tons of different types of coaching that's available. It uh, doesn't have to be business. And it's the type of work that you're doing. You know, you're helping people out and motivating and encouraging and coaching people and guiding people. So uh, it's a, uh, this is something that really wasn't discussed, you know, 15, 20 years ago about the idea of hiring a coach. Coaches were hired for senior management of companies. Uh, and now it's something to consider for, I want a health coach. It's like something that can go back to your book. It's like, I want somebody who can help guide me about, I need to be doing, taking care of my body better. And, you know, I could read about it, but it'd be nice to have somebody who is a coach on nutrition, coach on, you know, guiding me on healthy uh, exercise patterns. So there are coaches in all different types of subjects and areas. So Page 77 of the book is consider hiring a coach. It can be any type. And that's so funny that that page came up. I have to tell you, I the year of the pandemic, I also did seven coaching sessions wow. as well. Uh -huh. they were wow. different. Yeah, they were different, like huge group through the throughout the world in some cases, multi level, wow. like high level, you know, really all different levels, basically. They were on either being an author, which I was going that direction. Um, they were on building a business. You know, it was just so many different right. avenues. And yeah. when I looked back at it, I thought, oh, my gosh, I can't believe how much coaching I did. And I loved every minute of it. Good you know? for you. It yeah, was great. For you. So if everybody can tap in and there's a lot of free resources out there, they'll give you a free day or a free three Absolutely. days. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just sit in, you know, and turn it on. You, you, you might spend your weekend sitting in front of your, you know, computer, right. but you can take notes and you can learn from the best of the best in the world and use those resources for the rest of your life. The good so. point you said there is you take, you take a lot of notes and it doesn't mean you have to agree with everything's being said too, but if you can get two or three tidbits of guidance or thoughts and this, I never thought of that, you know, then that's, it's worth your time and investment. And uh, so great example. Good for you. That's uh, a <laughs> addictive. Like addictive learner. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. Right. Right. Good for you. You're a good oh, role model. Thank you. Thank you. And and this is why if we're going to be coaches or writing books, we have to learn from each other and share that knowledge and pass it down or reconvert it into a language that will help people at that moment. Because, you know, sometimes that data is stored in our memory to come mm -hmm. out at the right time for you all too. So right. I'm so blessed to have met you, Mr. Yeah. Dean Carroll, and just really honored to uh have, have you here with me and share your experiences and your wisdom and your book. Please consider getting his book if you're really, you know, into wanting to have a good job and business and 
move out around the world and connect. You know, we're all out there trying to help help the world become a better place.